you guys will remember that a number of, I want to say weeks ago, but it might have been a month or two ago. I can't, I can't remember at this point. Tom Holland was talking about how he is very serious about wanting to play James Bond. Tom Holland wants to play James Bond really badly. And then Jacob Bartalone, who of course plays Ned in the Spider-Man movies with him, he was like, dude, that's all he talks about. That's all Tom Holland talks about is James Bond, James Bond, James Bond. That's it. That's all he wants to do. And he wants to be the next Bond. Well, apparently it went a little bit further than just wish fulfillment. I didn't know. I Who knew? If you're a star of one of the biggest movies in the world, you get an audience with the studios. Because apparently Tom Holland did have an opportunity uh, some time ago to sit down with Sony and give his pitch for a young James Bond. This comes to us from over at Variety, who write the following. This is uh, Tom Holland speaking. He says, I had a meeting after or during the shooting of Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man Far From Home, with Sony to pitch this idea of a young James Bond film that I'd come up with, Holland said. It was the origin story of James Bond. It didn't really make sense, and it didn't work. It was the dream of a young kid, and I don't think the Bond estate was particularly interested in it. <laughs> I, first of all, can I just say, I love the self-awareness of him saying, it didn't make sense, and it didn't work. <laughs> and the James Bond estate was pretty much just not interested in it whatsoever. Okay, a couple thoughts on this. Number one, if you need to make a James Bond movie about a younger James Bond, like you want to go, I understand, like Casino Royale was kind of the origin story of James Bond. If you want to go even earlier than that, hey, Tom Holland's a decent pick. He's a good-looking English fellow. He's a super talented dude. He's clearly very passionate about the subject matter. I'd, I'd be perfectly fine for that if that's what they wanted to do. The other thing is good for Sony saying, here's this kid who's totally in love with James Bond. He wants to pitch an idea. And he's got some name. He's got a name behind him. You know what? Fine. Sit down, kid. We will entertain your idea. So good on Sony number one, but good on Sony number two that, hey, just because you're Tom Holland, and just because you're Spider-Man, if it's not an idea that works, we're not going to do it. So double kudos to Sony Studios for giving the kid uh, an audience and then also for turning it down if Tom Holland himself is saying it wasn't a very good idea. So I think uh, I think this is great. Anyway, Rob, uh, you are the resident major James Bond fan here. And number one, let me ask you this. What would you think of a young... Let's break it up into a couple questions. What would you think about a younger James Bond story? If they did that, what would you think about Tom Holland playing it? And then what do you think about Sony actually giving the kid an audience? Well, I think that a, a young James Bond, uh, an early story when he was in, say, the British Navy, for instance, could be quite interesting. Um, I would I would watch something like that that showed where his skill sets came from, why he was eventually tapped to go into MI6. Um, but But Tom Holland doesn't exactly strike me as like the brawler that Sean Connery was, right? You know, I just I, I think it's cool. In, in in a way, it makes me makes me like Uncharted more now, even though I haven't seen the movie. I did watch that extended clip of the plane sequence, and that sequence is really really good. So I'm excited for that. So Tom Holland kind of got his James Bond esque franchise, uh, and it's good. You know, I think Sony should listen to their top talent, and and hey, if an actor wants to do something, why not listen to them? So it's a win-win for everybody, and we're getting uncharted. Yeah, and by the way, the, the article kind of points to that it was this whole process and pitch that kind of led to Uncharted, and which I, I'm <clears> very <throat> excited about. I think Uncharted sounds great. Kim, we talked a few months ago or weeks ago now at this point, I can't even remember, about the possibility of Tom Holland, you know, all that kind of stuff, knowing that he actually had the Sony meeting and got to pitch the idea what do, what do you think about it now it's so funny because um if you remember when we were talking about tom holland being bond we didn't know about this context yet so we didn't know that it would already be, had a meeting it would be that he'd have a meeting but also that it would be pitched from the younger version and remember i said the only way i see tom holland as james bond is if they do a story of young James Bond. That's the only way because I'm for Tom Holland. I like him. I just don't think he has the um, the maturity cosmetically like he doesn't look like you're going to kick my ass. 
you know, and Daniel Craig, man, when he looks into that camera and straightens his tie, you're like, oh, God, please don't hit me. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but it's so funny that that's how it went, because I was like, look, if it's talking about James Bond at 21, 22 years old, just getting into it, meeting M while he's still a bit of a rascal that would totally work. So I think that's so funny that that's the direction he was going. And I'm kind of bummed, but I do understand the direction and the flavor they want to keep the franchise in. But that would be cool. That I, would be dope. I will say this. He would probably lean towards, like to me, there are two James Bond archetypes, right? There's the Sean Connery badassery. There's the Roger Moore suave. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason Daniel Craig is my personal favorite is I, I kind of consider him to be the perfect amalgamation of the two. I think if he, Tom Holland, were to be a James Bond, I think he would lean more towards the Roger Moore template of Bond. I, I don't see, like, kind of like the way Pierce Brosnan did. Pierce Brosnan was a little bit more lean. I think he would go in that category. Whereas the Sean Connery, I would put more him, George Lazenby, you know, things like that. But I think you would go to that side. You know what the other thing is, too? I was saying good for Sony on two fronts, giving the kid an audience and for turning it down. Good for Tom Holland. Number one, he's got a dream. He's pursuing it. But number two, he's humble enough and self-aware enough to say, yeah, I didn't give them a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't very good. Because a lot of celebrities today would go, F Sony. They don't know a good idea when they see it. But Tom Holland's like, yeah, my idea didn't make sense. And they turned it down. So good on him. But he and went for it like Hamilton, not not. Throwing Not away throwing my away shot. my shot. It's just so, like his country. He's young, scrappy, and hungry, and he is not throwing away his shot. shot. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> question is for you. What do you think about this? The fact that Tom Holland actually got an audience with Sony to pitch being young James Bond. Maybe you think it would be a good idea. It led to Uncharted. Whatever you guys are thinking about it, jump down to the comment section below and leave us your thoughts.